Hello, my name is Dr. Daniel Dudenkov, and I am pleased to present our original article, which will appear in the June 2018 issue of the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The article is titled, Serum 25 Hydroxy Vitamin D Values and Risk of All-Cause and Cause-Specific Mortality, a Population-Based Cohort Study. Serum 25 Hydroxy Vitamin D is the standard measurement of a patient's vitamin D status. In our study, we followed over 11,000 patients with a recorded 25-hydroxy vitamin D level in Olmsted County, Minnesota for approximately five years. After adjusting for multiple relevant confounders, our major finding is that patients with 25-hydroxy vitamin D levels less than 20 nanograms per milliliter are at increased risk of all-cause mortality compared to patients with values in the normal range of 20 to 50. This finding is in agreement with previous studies. However, a novel finding of our study is that the association with all-cause mortality was not present in non-white patients. For values of 25 hydroxy vitamin D above 50 nanograms per milliliter, which is the upper limit of normal, we did not see any association with mortality. So what are the impl implications of this for clinical practice? For white patients, our results support aiming for a 25 hydroxy vitamin D level of at least 20 nanograms per milliliter, which is the current practice. For non-white patients, our results highlight the need for more studies that include increased racial diversity. Previous studies on this topic have included very few patients who are not of European descent. We know that a significant number of darker skinned individuals are vitamin D deficient based on our current cutoff of 20 nanograms per milliliter. If further studies confirm our results, then the clinical implications can be broad. These include the use of race as a factor when deciding whether to test for vitamin D deficiency and at what level of vitamin D to recommend treatment. As far as 25 hydroxy vitamin D levels above 50, our results are reassuring that elevated vitamin D levels are unlikely to cause harm, although this also needs to be confirmed with prospective data. Thank you very much, and we hope you enjoy reading the article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.